today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! scary human mask. I made it myself. Grotesquely amusing. That doesn't look anything like a human. What are you talking about? It's perfect. I tell you guys, I am ready. Tonight is gonna be the scariest Halloween ever. Indeed, Lloyd. I also brought an assortment of Halloween shenanigans. Look what I created in my genetic laboratory. Wow, Douglas. That's scary and cool. Ah! Ah! Help! I've got a laser beam through my head! <laughs> The old laser through the head gag gets him every time. Man, with this junk, we're gonna be the most terrifying tricksters in Halloween history. Undeniably. Oh, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. I'm ready for trick-or-treating! Um, Kurt, we're not going trick-or-treating. We're not? No, we're teenagers now. It's time for us to carry on the ancient Halloween tradition of all teenagers. Yeah, scare little kids. But, Mommy, I don't want to be asleep. <laughs> Speaking of little kids, it's time to enact our master plan of terror. Quick, guys, put away the junk. This costume is dumb. I want to be a daisy droid. The store was out of daisy droid costumes, honey. Station! Hi, me hearty. Now, Station, I hope you can see through that eye patch. I need you to give out candy while I chaperone Francine and her friends. I'll be yo-ho ready, Commander. <laughs> <clears throat> Say, Mom, I've been thinking. You don't want to be walking around with a bunch of whining preschoolers all night. I don't? No way! Why don't you stay home and hand out candy? I will happily be their trick-or-treating escort for the evening. Well, all right, Lloyd, that's very kind of you. Now, come on, Francine, let's go find your hooves. Ah, excellent. See you around, guys! Take your positions. Halloween scary fun action plan will now commence. I'm so excited that you can't wait. It's going to be so great. All right, girls. Here's a promising home right here. How's about we show them some of that adorable Halloween spirit? Trick or treat! Oh, my. Aren't you all a bunch of little darlings? Here's some sweets for the sweeties. Thank you! Boy, that was fun. What'd you get, girls? I got some caramel-covered screwberries. I got a pin-up bar. I got a gummy Google. Hey. I got something, too. It's a severed antenna! <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fake. Oh, man, you little kids are too much. You should have seen their faces. I wasn't scared, Ed, because real quick, I read your mind, and I knew you was going to do that. So, ha, ha, you're just a big, fat, giant, huge... <laughs> Chilling chums. But, uh, Kurt, you were supposed to lose the costume. Ooh, I could do it over. You guys are mean meanies. That time I almost got scared. Almost? Come on, Francine. You were screaming your little head off. But don't worry. That's all the spooks we got cooked up for you tonight. Or maybe not. Check it out. Come see Boomer's scary haunted house in the main docking bay. If you dare. Hey, cool! A haunted house! Ooh, I don't like haunted houses. They're haunted! That's okay, girls, because there's not no way we're going. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Now, we've got a problem. If you girls won't even go to a dumb old haunted house, then everyone's going to call you crybabies. Hey, we're not crybabies! Yeah, I'm not a crybaby. Take it back! If you say you're not crybabies, I believe you. I'm just not so sure everyone else will. Right, Lloyd? Oh, yeah. I don't want people calling you crybabies. I'll be getting into fights with all sorts of guys, telling them to knock it off. And oh, the shame you young ladies would feel. And to think it'd be so easy to prevent just by looking at a haunted house. Ah, happy Halloween, dudes and dudettes, and welcome to the hauntedest of haunted houses. That's a haunted house? That pile of junk? Exactly. I built it out of cool stuff I found out on the junk asteroid. I got a bunch of ideas from weird, scary horror comics. Volume 1. Well, good, Boomer. These brave girls here are dying to have a look. <laughs> Excellent. I'll go tell the spooks to rise out of their graves. Well, girls, go on in now. I hope you enjoy your visit. Uh, maybe I ain't so sure we really ought to go in. Hey, don't worry. We're right behind you. <laughs> that was funny because they were scared. Lloyd, you're a bad big brother. You mean us going to that horrible, terrible place? Oh, come on, 
and Francine. It's just a little harmless fun. That crummy old haunted house doesn't even look scary. Oh, yeah? You guys be scared, too. Ha! That's a laugh. Come on, guys. Let's show her how his big boys do it. Unless you're a bunch of crybabies. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. It's funny. Oh, what a hilarious concept. Boy, I sure hope no scary monster jumps out at us. Whoa! Gosh, that is frightening. A frighteningly cheap costume. <laughs> <laughs> Do not laugh at me. I am a Predatalian. Whoa! A Predatalian? The Predatalian is a rare beast with DNA-altering venom. Its bite has been known to transform people into monsters. However, I doubt they normally wear tennis shoes. Hey, come on, dudes. I worked hard on this costume. You could at least pretend to be scared. Aw, we hurt the monster's feelings. Aw, oh, forget it. You dudes are no fun. Here's an interesting fellow. He seems to be wrapped entirely in toilet paper. I want my mommy. <laughs> mommy sounds like mommy. Get it? <laughs> hey, looky here. I'm eating brains! Mm. What a surprise! Brains taste just like noodles! <laughs> <laughs> Most time be praised! It's the exit! At last, our terrifying ordeal is over! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I tell you, it's gonna take a lot more than that haunted house to scare a bunch of guys like us! <laughs> Boomer? Francine? Where is everybody? Where is seem to have disappeared. Disappear. Disappear. Boomer? Francine? Where are you hiding? Come out already. Give it up, man. They're not here. No one's here. Yes, and the dust accumulation would suggest no one's been here for some time. But it doesn't make sense. I mean, we just walk out that door and suddenly the whole docking bay is abandoned? Perhaps we should try going back through the door. Except it appears to be locked. Don't worry, guys. I can bust it open. <laughs> No, I can't. Forget the door. I mean, it obviously doesn't go anywhere. The haunted house is gone. But where did it go? Hey, don't ask me. I don't know what in the splick is going on. I recommend we probe deeper into the station. Perhaps we can find someone to explain these strange goings on. I guess that's better than hanging out in here. Come on. Wait for me. Hello? 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 Yodel Man, this place is quiet. The quietness makes me scared. Now, now, Kurt. I'm sure we're simply facing a mysterious scientific phenomenon. There's no need to be... Ah! A snake! Ah! Bad snake! Bad, 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 bad snake! Kurt, no! Stop! It's not a snake, it's Station. Oh, sorry. Perhaps he can explain what's going on. Tell us, Station, where is everyone? What happened? Priests! Priests! Stay away! Station? Station! Man, I've never seen him freak out like that. He shut himself down. Well, Kurt did mistakenly assault him. But he's done that plenty of times. Yeah, and how come Station called his beast? We're the most normal-looking guys around. He must have seen a beast earlier and thought it was coming back. Let's not jump to any conclusions. Station's vocal circuitry sounded as though it was corroded. I suspect he was simply babbling nonsense. Hey, yeah, that's all. <laughs> I suggest we go to the bridge. The commander's log may shed some light on our predicament. Whoa! Look at this place! It's all full of dust and spider webs! Oh, a spider! Spider webs! It really does look like no one's been here for years, but that's impossible! Um, I know it seems impossible, but it also seems to be the case. According to this calendar, today is Monday, February 7th in the year X-37. X-37? But that's ten years in the future! Ten years in the future?! Then I'm thirteen plus ten? Fifty-three years old! I missed a hundred birthdays! No, you haven't, Kurt. And no, you aren't any older. You've stayed the same. It's everything else that's aged. But how could that have happened? Hopefully, the commander will explain. I'm accessing her log now. Hi. Today, I dropped a donut on the floor. And when I bent over to pick it up, I ripped my pants. And then I... Pardon my mistake. That was Lieutenant Larry's log. Ah, I believe I have it now. Commander's log, 7th of Grogast, year X-27. This will be my final entry. A few days ago, a ship arrived from another sector. Unbeknownst to them, a Predatalian had stowed away in their cargo hold. Predatalian? But that's 
the thing that turns people into monsters! This creature escaped from the ship and is now on the loose. It's already bitten some of the crew members. So, for the first time in our history, we're evacuating Intrepidville. Lloyd, if you hear this message, listen carefully. We believe that you and your friends accidentally traveled through a time portal into the future. There is a way to come back. Hi, Commander! <laughs> She got out of there, okay? And Francine! I'm sure most people made it out okay. Probably. A time portal. Fascinating. It must be that door in the landing bay. The door from Boomer's haunted house. I always figured Boomer was an evil time-traveling genius. Doubtful. More likely, he found that door on the junk asteroid and had no idea what it was. At least now we know how to get back. Yeah, and hey, we've seen the future. We know Intrepid Bull is going to be invaded by monsters. Now we can go back and warn them. Yeah. Let us return to the docking bay at once. All right, the mall level. Another quick elevator ride and approximately 300 steps to freedom. I can't believe we walked right past that doormat and didn't even look under it. I feel like such an idiot! Yeah, well, we'll all be laughing about it soon enough. What was that? I don't know. Let's keep going. What's that? What's that? What's that? You don't suppose that monster thing's still around, do you? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. That was ten years ago. I'm sure it's just the station settling. <laughs> Something's there. Huh? Where is it coming from? I don't know. Stop gossiping and get a move on. I can't. I'm too scared. Watch it, man. You're making Eddie Horton scared, too. We need a diversion of some sort to take our minds off fear. A song, perhaps. I like the Intrepidville anthem. Well, it's pretty dorky, but I guess no one's going to hear us anyway. Oh, Intrepidville, Intrepidville, Pride of Quadrant 4. From her lofty bridge down to her protofusion core. We are proud Intrepidvillians, bold and true are we. As we march in synthro gravitation, brave and fearlessly. Well, that's better. I feel brave and fearless, just like in the song. Now I'm scared again. It's in the elevator. This is gold. Well, look at that. It was just poor, worn-out Mrs. Bolt all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the predator, 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 predatorium! Predator, predator! Lower appendages! Don't fail me now! What do we do? We gotta get around him and make it down to the docking bay! Yes, and no matter what, we must stick together! <laughs> scratch I got back in the hallway. A scratch? Well... <laughs> so maybe it's a fight. The monster bit you? It did move quite quickly. Too quickly for me to avoid. <laughs> and now it's your turn. <laughs> Don't worry, monster friends. He'll join us sooner or later. He has nowhere left to go. <laughs> wow. 
up, Station? They thought we couldn't last, but we proved them wrong, didn't we? Today is February 7th, X87. Fifty years to the day that those dumb old monsters ruined my chance to go back in time. But we won't give in, will we? We won't let them bite us and make monsters out of us too, will we? What's that, Station? Why, well, I don't know. Reckon I'll check. Hey, you dumb monsters! You still out there waiting for me? What's that? I said you still waiting for me? Yeah, we're still waiting for you. Unlock the door, Lloyd. Come out and join us. Live the rewarding life. The life of a scary monster. Woo <laughs> you must be running out of food by now. That's where you're wrong, you dopes. I still got plenty of dried goods. Dried beans, dried pulp gourd, dried... Beans? Oh, I got a couch? Got a turlet? Heck, I got everything. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. I'm okay. Just tripped on something. <laughs> that old phony severed antenna I used on Halloween all those years ago. All those years ago. Hmm. To scare Francine. You know, Station, 50 years is a long time. And 50 years trapped inside an apartment is a really long time. Time to do nothing but eat dried beans, use the turlet. Paint goofy faces on you, and think. Hmm? What's that? Think about what? Oh, station, all kinds of stuff. But I found that when a fella gets as old as I am, he spends more time than ever just thinking about life. About how much he has left. But mostly what I wonder is, did I do a good job with what I had? <sighs> and this bugs me, because I'm not so sure I did. <laughs> Crime in his station, I, I miss Francine so. <laughs> I never thought my time with her would be so short. And all I can think about is what a big jerk I was to her the last time I saw her. You know, when you're someone's older brother, treating them crummy just seems like the natural thing to do. But, but for 50 years now, I've had the golly stompin' Willy Wonka scared out of me on a daily basis. And nothing, nothing makes me feel lousier than how I wasted the time I had with my sister. <laughs> I'm sorry, Francie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Huh? What's this? But this is the, the key to the portal. Dear Lloyd, I finded this copy of Mommy's key and hided it for you in case you ever needed it. Love, Francine. Oh, Francine, I love you too. And I'm coming back to you. Okay, monster guys. Huh? I decided you're right. The door's unlocked, so come on in and bite me. Now oh, that's more like it. Advance, senior monster citizens, advance! There sits the mortal, just waiting to be nipped by our fangs. Let's bite him together. <laughs> this guys but i'm going back in time back to when things were good and my friends weren't a bunch of monsters i'll say hi to your moms and dads <laughs> i'm back back in boomer's crummy haunted house i'm back in the good old days francine 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 i'm back and you're back oh it's so good to see you <laughs> Oh, my dear sweet Francie. <laughs> yeah, well, it's good to see you too, Lloyd. Really? You mean it? Sure, because now I get to buy you. What the? How's this again? I'm not a hairy monster anymore. My hands, they're creamy soft. I'm young again. But how could this be? <laughs> <laughs> I tricked you guys is good. Tricked us? What are you talking about? You never went into no future, you big dummies. I use my brain reading powers to put all them scary thoughts into your heads. You mean all this time we just thought we were in the future? The monster? The key? You made all that junk up? I gave her a few choice ideas from weird, scary horror comics. Volume 2. So we've been standing right here the whole time, blathering like terrified idiots? Yep. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, little kids. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Scaring people like that isn't funny at all. Oh, it's funny. 
But it isn't very nice, is it? No, it's not, Francine. And I'm sorry. I know. I heard you say so 50 years from now. Now let's go do some more trick-or-treating. Unless you want me to tell everyone what a bunch of crybabies you were. You know, going around getting candy from people is starting to sound like fun. I wholeheartedly concur. It'll be a new Halloween tradition. Young ladies, I shall happily be your escort for the evening. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Have a goblin a good time, and happy Halloween, everybody! Hey, wait a minute. Am I really standing here by myself in front of a spook house? Or is this all just an elaborate fantasy inside my own head? Whoa. Hey, Lloyd, Francine, wait up! I'm coming trick-or-treating with you guys!